Hey, 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 y'all. We're back. We're back. So now, what are we doing today? Today, before I make dinner for my family, I am making lunch or dinner for my sister's family. Johanna just had a baby. She just had her Lord's Prince. And when the babies are just born and mommy's all tired and just coming out of the hospital, us sisters get together and we decide who's cleaning, who's cooking for the week and all that good stuff. So today, me, Sister Ophira from Ophira's Creations is going to be giving Johanna's Lord's house steamed vegetables, salad, garlic bread, honey, garlic chicken wings. And this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use some broccoli, some cabbage, some carrots, some peppers, onions, garlic that's going into the salad. I'm sorry, into the steamed vegetables. Now, when I baste my frying pan, I use avocado oil, vegetable seasoning, which is almost done, but you know, we got stocked up in the, in the pantry, and sea salt. A pinch of sea salt, not too much, okay? And also butter, that also goes into the steamed vegetables. Now, from there, once I get that done, I'm going to take the chicken wings, which is soaking and cleaning in some lemon water and vinegar water. That's cleaning, and um, we're going to make some salad, uh, fresh salad, and, of course, the garlic bread. We're going to do the salad and the garlic bread last because that, like, takes n nothing to do. Like, all you got to do is just put it into the foil pan and make it look pretty. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is be cleaning out the carrots, chopping up the vegetables, and we're going to wash them. And also, this is going to be on the bottom of the vegetables because I like the oil to be flavored with the peppers. So we're layering everything. Peppers, onions, garlic on the bottom of the frying pan. Then the carrots, then the cabbage, then the broccoli. The broccoli cooks faster. The cabbage is more so between the broccoli and the carrots and the carrots because the carrots take so long to cook, they need to be closer to the heat. I do not um, cook my vegetables more than five to seven minutes on high heat and that's because I just want them to steam. I don't want them to boil. I don't want them to lose their crunch or anything like that. So we're going to do this quickly, okay? So I'm going to try to put my phone down, get this all chopped up. And I see you when they're chopped up. All right, pretty people. So I am done chopping up my vegetables. Cabbage, onions, garlic, bell peppers, carrots, broccoli is all ready. So as I said, just a little bit of oil, some salt, some vegetable seasoning, some butter. We're going to turn this on to high heat. The carrots is already chopped up, so that's finished. Um, a little bit of garlic and the peppers I put the peppers in there the onions get the onions in there Hold on, guys. I'm trying to move some of this stuff out of the way. Um, so the first thing on the bottom, like I said before, is the carrots. Then we got the cabbage. And then, last but not least, is our broccoli. Look at me! Look at me! 
Now with this, I'll take a bottle of water and I would just pour the bottle of water like that. And that's it. I don't really need that much water. And then we'll cover the pot. Again, remember guys, this is on high fire, okay? It's on high. And it's not for long. Five to seven minutes at the max. As soon as I see it steaming, and as soon as I see the broccoli starting to change um, its color, I would definitely turn it off and let the rest of the heat of the pot continue cooking it. So it doesn't need that much time at all. Okay, guys? Next step. So here on my cutting board, I have four cloves of garlic. This is for the garlic bread. And because I was chopping up the vegetables for the seasoning and the vegetables for the steamed vegetables, I am also going to go ahead and take care of the garlic for the garlic bread at the same time. So now, with this, I'm going to dice it up as small as I possibly can because I'm going to use these chunks of garlic to go onto the garlic bread. Okay? And you want to chop this up as fine as possible. Then I'm going to get a half stick of butter because I'm going to be using four small Italian bread. Which is this size. I'm going to cut them in half. There's four of them in the package. We're going to cut them in half. We're going to get the um, some parsley. And we're going to sprinkle the parsley into the butter i'm going to turn on my new wave or my oven and i'm just going to slightly melt the butter so that i can just paste it onto the bread okay so let's get that together let's get the bowl the parsley and the butter and everything i'll probably just mix it instead of melting it so let's see what happens okay guys so in the bowl I have um, a half stick of butter, some parsley, and the garlic. And I'm just going to mash everything together with the fork. I'm not going to melt it because if I melt it, it's going to be so soggy. It's going to be soggy by the time I deliver her garlic bread. And I don't want her garlic bread to be soggy. I want her to be able to put it in the toaster and eat it nice and fresh and hot. So I'm just going to mash it together like this. And then I'm going to cut the bread in half and I'm going to paste it onto the bread. And then we'll package it all nice and pretty. Okay, so let me get my bread knife. I like to use my bread knife with the ridges on it because it helps give me a cleaner cut on the bread. And we always want that look. So I get my trusty golden plate here. And... Nice clean slice when you got the ridges on your knife. Okay guys, so I'm guessing that you guys got the point of how to cut the bread, right? So just cut the bread in half and then we're going to take a little bit and if we have to make more we will, but for right now we're taking a little bit and we're just going to baste it. No mama, it's not cooked yet and this is not ours so you cannot have it. And we're going to put a little piece 
on each side. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, guys. Absolutely perfect. This is the garlic bread and it's finished. So, like I said, this is the steamed vegetables. It's done. Less than five minutes. Okay, guys. So, what I did with the chicken was I put it in a new wave on 425 for 25 minutes. So that it can air fry. Normally what I would do is fry the chicken first and then make the sauce with the same oil. Because she just had a baby, I wanted to be a li at least a little healthy and not eat that much oil or fried food. So I air fried it. What we're going to do right now is make the honey garlic glaze to go on the chicken. And then we're going to cook the chicken in the honey garlic glaze for about 2 or 3 minutes. Let that sit. And then um, we're going to put the salad together. I'm so sorry, guys. I thought this was recording this whole time, and it didn't. So what I've done so far is making the honey garlic glaze. We add some avocado oil to the pot, along with the sofrito and the garlic. And we're going to cook that first to, to flavor the oil. Once we get that flavored up a little bit, the next step that I'm going to do is to add my honey and my tomato. So let's open up this bottle here. I'm going to pour the whole bottle of honey in there because it's a little bottle. It's a lot of chicken wings. So we have a 12 ounce bottle of honey. I hope it doesn't take too long. I'll try to coat everything. So we're going to use that. The honey. Some tomato sauce. A ketchup, I should say. Is it the right thing? And to give it its nice golden color, some soy sauce. Now, normally at this point, I would use Worcestershire sauce, but I don't have any. It's so funny that I just went to the store for Worcestershire sauce and still forgot to pick it up. That's the mommy brain for you. Everything on your mind, you try to do your best to remember everything and everyone. Something slip through the crack. So as you can see, it is bubbling. And what we're going to do from here, you want to taste it to make sure that you have the right consistency of salt and sweet and the honey and the garlic. You want to make sure you can taste all your flavors. So we're going to turn the fire down. Because remember, this is a honey garlic glazed chicken wings. I don't want it to be completely dried down. So I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to taste it. It is perfect, guys. Absolutely perfect. So now what we're going to do from this point on, we're going to go get our wings. So we got our wings here and each piece of wing, we're just going to put it into the frying pan. And we're going to mix all of the wings into the sauce. And we're just going to allow the sauce to cook through the wings a little bit. Coat the wings, let it get all nice and honey garlic flavored. And then that's it guys. We just package it and it's time for delivery. Thank you so much for watching again, watching all the way through to the end. Please, if you have watched all the way through, like and subscribe. This is a family channel. I am trying to grow my channel. I'm hoping that the year of 2021, I would have a lot more subscribers than I did when I started, right? So, we're going to mix all of that together. Nice golden brown color.
honey glaze. There you go. You don't need to do much to it. Just mix it around and let the heat of the fire coat the chicken. Now that that's done, I'm just going to let it sit in the fire on low fire for about two minutes just so that it can get the um, the sauce can get into the chicken skin and all that and then um, we'll put it into the pan for delivery and that's it guys thank you so much for watching